Welcome to Revel, the world's best destination for adventurers and explorers, for artists and romantics, for the curious and the wild at heart. Step into the world of travel insight and destination inspiration. Revel in the experience. Today we are going to give a royal tour of the 10 most beautiful palaces in the world. Be sure to watch all the way to the end, as our number one palace will make you want to rush out to take a blood test to double check if you have some royal blood. Number 10. Palace of Versailles Express your emperor or empress vibe upon entering the first grandeur palace on our list. This famous site in France will definitely make you feel the royal adventure. Chateau de Versailles or the Palace of Versailles is the very first two-level hunting lodge by Louis XIII of the Ile-de-France region in the year 1624. After several years, Louis XIV built a palace in the same location, then shifted the royal proceedings from Paris to Versailles. Unfortunately, the Grand Palace was devastated during the French Revolution. King Louis XVI had also been ousted from the royal family. Despite the disaster, a great restoration had been in the works that now allows any curious mind a peek inside the rich, abundant history of the monarch. Over the years, it has been turned into a museum. It has served as one of the world's most popular tourist spots and had almost 8 million visitors in 2017. UNESCO recognized the Palace of Versailles as a World Heritage Site in 1979. Number 9. Grand Palace Bangkok's Grand Palace was built around the 1780s, and it overlooks the scenic view of Chow Phraya River. It is a sacred place, as it houses the Wat Phra Khao or the Temple of Emerald Buddha, which houses a single block Jade Buddha. It is a 26-inch tall palladium of Thailand with pure gold as its garments. It postures a yogic position as its meditation. In the early 20th century, a Western-style construction was done by King Rama V in the form of Barong Phila Mansion. Over the years, the Grand Palace became considered one of the tourist attractions that offers each of its visitors a chance to reflect, as well as to be mindful of obedience to the rules. The said wonder has been garnering visitors with an average of 8 million guests every year. Number 8. Pena National Palace Perched in a high, lush hilltop, this elegant palace is the oldest European castle maintaining its romantic architectural style. It is a famous national landmark to every tourist, as it looks like it is built with smashed towers, facades, and structural flourishes from various castles. The Penna National Palace was built by King Ferdinand II for the purpose of serving as a summer house, exclusive for only the Portuguese royals. Ferdinand's lavish tastes were carefully adapted by builders and designers who created a schizophrenic rectory which reflects the view outside. Each portion or section symbolizes different historical marks. One of those resembles the medieval European castle with ornate parapets that completes its authentic vibe. Another portion is inspired by an Islamic tower dome. Every facade section is presented with varieties of shade. A long purple wing is flanked by a red clock tower and a yellow minaret. Ferdinand's desire to make the palace similar to an opera has been a success. It is now one of the grandest examples of romantic architecture. In fact, UNESCO recognizes it as a World Heritage Site. It can now be accessed by adventurers who are willing to trek up high to experience a whole new world of royalty. Number 7. Umayyad Bayan Through the supervision of Maharaja Umayyad Singh of Jodhpur Rajastha, this magnificent palace has been possible to build. With the help of the British architect Henry Vaughan Lanchester, this glorious palace is now known as the world's sixth largest private residence and is still in the hands of the royal family of Jodhpur. The luxurious palace was constructed for the compassionate employment for the farmers of the site that sought refuge from an impending famine. The Umayyad Bayan in India was completed in the year 194. It is now an architectural cocktail of Western Art Deco, indo saracenic features, and Beaux-Arts. The elegant site proudly boasts its two wings that are from golden yellow sandstone along the interiors protected by Makrana marble and Bernice teak wood. In fact, its style is similar to the structure of the palm court marble used in the creation of the Taj Mahal. Number 6. Sensuchi Palace You might want to spend your summer getaway visiting this enchanting palace. It was built as the summer palace and refuge of the king of Prussia, named Frederick the Great. Just like the meaning of its name, Sansuchi, which means without concern in French, it is the palace, it is the place where he could retreat without concerning others and relaxing with the company of his greyhounds. The Sansuchi Palace is situated in Potsdam City, Germany. With a raised ground with cascading vineyard terraces, the site's architectural style is likely a Frederican Rococo theme, due to the strong influence of the king's tastes. In fact, the palace was in complete construction back in 1747 by Jan Boomen. 
following the design by George Wenceslaus von Nobelsdorf with the king's instruction. As the years passed, King Frederick William IV expanded and made improvements to the palace around the 19th century, when it miraculously survived without a scratch after World War II. Since then, it has become one of the historical tourist spots in East Germany and was deemed a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1990. Number 5. Willenow Palace Test your resilience with this mighty palace that has survived two world wars. Poland's treasure over the ages, the exquisite Baroque royal residence was created by the court architect Augustin Locci, called the Willenow Palace. It is a mix of an Italian garden villa, a nobility house, and a French palace. Its undeniable beauty has been in place since around 1677. It is only a one-story structure, but contains a glamorous interior. The royal apartments are situated on its main floor, while a gallery of Polish portraits can be seen on the first floor containing the effigies of Polish monarchs and other prominent Polish personalities that have been known for ages. This Willenow Palace is now one of Poland's precious monuments. Number 4. Potala Palace Sitting 130 meters high on the Lhasa Valley, the Potala Palace is the greatest monumental landmark in Tibet. The said palace has been in the area since the 7th century. Construction for the current palace was done in 1645 during the reign of the 5th Dalai Lama. Then another completion of the Potrankapo, or White Palace, happened in 1648. Around 1690-1694, the Potrong Marpo, or the Red Palace, was added to the site. Did you know that the original purpose of this creation was actually as a present from the king to his bride-to-be? What a luxurious gift! However, during the 9th century, the original structure of the palace was destroyed and renovated by the 5th Dalai Lama. It had been housed by the royals for over 300 years until the Chinese invasion in 1959 when the Dalai Lama fled to India. Since the grand site has been open to the public, the authorities have set a limit of 2,300 guests to enter the palace per day. It is for the purpose of preserving the natural beauty of the place. Number 3. Alhambra Palace A fortress, palace, and garden, this magical castle rests on a plateau with an impressive view of Granada City in southern Spain. The Alhambra Palace was built in the mid-14th century by the Nasrid Sultans. It is also proof of the skill of Muslim craftsmen during that period. However, the name Alhambra has been a mystery to the locals, and even to some experts. Despite having red fortress as its meaning in Arabic, this doesn't satisfy everyone. According to some studies, authors think that it is due to the dancing reddish glow that came from torches that were used during its construction. At night, they created an illumination effect of scarlet red, while it is believed that the castle walls were immaculate white in tone. What's more amusing about the different theories behind the site is the famous legend that has been surrounding the palace which connects to the Gates of Justice. It is one of the main entrances to this majestic palace. The outer arch is decorated with a hand that symbolizes the five pillars of Islam and used to ward off the evil eye. On the other hand, a mysterious key is engraved on the other side of the door, as seen on the inner part of the arch. The Nasrid came to the conclusion that the end of the world will happen when the hand and key become one, meaning it is a sign of destruction for this bewitching fortress. Number 2. Schönbrunn Palace Have another royal summer escapade to live like one of the Habsburg rulers of Austria. Somewhere in Vienna, this fascinating castle-like structure will surely make your summer season one to remember. The Rococo-style Schönbrunn Palace, created by Emperor Leopold I between 1696 and 1712, consists of 1,441 rooms. It is the most visited area in Austria, including the famous Gold and White Mirror Room. It is also where the six-year-old Mozart performed his very first masterpiece. Only 40 of its 1,441 rooms are open to tourists, but every single room has breathtaking features. Among its marvelous structures, the rare rosewood panels of the Millions Room and the Gobelin Salon have a classy collection of ornate tapestries from Belgium. The world's longest orangeries can be found in this majestic palace that was recognized as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1996. Are you up for an elegant escapade? Then this trip may suit your taste. Number 1. Grand Kremlin Palace Treat yourself to a visit to the most divine and grand palace that will definitely make you feel like a royal. The Grand Kremlin Palace in Russia has the iconic Russian Tsar Bell and is the largest bell in the world. It has never been rung due to construction issues. The legendary palace was built between 1839 and 1849 in Moscow by the chief architect Konstantin Thon. Its fantastic exterior showcases a mix of Byzantine and medieval Russian architecture. 
The palace also has the wonderful and historic Tehran Palace with over 700 rooms, 9 churches, and the holy vestibule. The site, with an amazing blend of Russian, Italian, and Eastern structure, is now the home of Russia's president, Vladimir Putin. Would you believe that he commutes by helicopter to and from his grand residence? Grand Kremlin Palace is one of UNESCO's World Heritage Sites. Exploring any one of these elegant wonders would be a stunning experience, but living like a royal might be even more splendid. Which one of these opulent fortresses make you want to live there? Comment below. We're excited to hear which royal family you'd want to live with. Thanks for watching, Revelers! Hey, are you a Reveler yet? If not, what in the world? Join the movement! Click to subscribe, ring the notification bell, shop our store, and let the world know that you too are a Reveler.